play and call it work. Hey there guys, Cullen here from AnyWarGaming.com to bring you another open vault. This will be our first open vault in our new building. So for, for anyone who does not know, the open vault is our behind the scenes style show where I walk around and show you guys what everyone is up to on a daily life of a mini wargamer. So I'm obviously in the new office and I am a little torn because there's been lots of updates so I don't really want to go necessarily through everything or I don't want to have you guys had like repeat the same things that everyone's been kind of showing off in their last videos so I'll try to more focus on the people as uh, if you're not familiar with our new building you should uh, pop a couple videos back uh, there are many updates of us moving in so that is where we've been for the past little while and I'm sitting in my new office with a window and Rob oh hi Rob hi what are we doing over here Rob uh, this is obviously the editing room just editing I mean, that's just only makes sense, right? Yeah. Ooh, it is it is bright in here. We're going to have to get that curtain up soon. Yes. Uh, we are, I mean, I say curtain like we have it, but we don't. So We well, have to get a curtain to put up in front of the window so it blocks the light so that we don't glisten and shine in the sunlight. We're not vampires. I mean, straight. speak for yourself. Well, you see, if you were a vampire, you wouldn't want to admit it. Sure. Or would I just not want to deny it? No, no. Different. Totally different. Don't try to flip this <laughs> this uh, table over. Okay, so, Rob, what are we working on now that we're... Obviously, I mean, with the move and everything, you kind of had a little bit of moving in, but now you are back to it. I am back are to you, it. Are you kind of all caught up? Uh, for the most part that I know of, yeah. For the most part. For the most part? For the most part. Okay. Okay. A little bit of editing going on here, and a little bit of editing going on there, and getting it all done. Getting that two-screen action. Oh, need it. Need it. It's essential. Well, not essential, but it's it makes your work workflow flow so much more worky by having two screens. But of course. <laughs> and yeah, this is uh, this window here. It looks like a big text document because it is, and that's all the. Uh, projects that as everyone, you know, as they film it, they kind of put it in a list and this is the list that gets generated for Rob there. And that's what he knows what he can work on. That's right. And then, uh, this is my desk, which is covered in stuff. Cause I have to put things away. I got some totes and stuff that'll be where we're going to keep the equipment, but I got to pack it all in there. I just yeah, need to... Why is my desk so nice and clean and organized for the most part? For the most part. And why is your desk all because I helped everyone else clean. And now I'm in this situation. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Okay. Well, and we've got new signs of the doors. So this is the Maniac Editing Room. I guess that qualifies me as a maniac. And here we have the Employee Lounge with that? Steve. This is my office. Vito's desk and Luca's desk. This is the offices. Office Lounge. No lounge in the office. Thought, isn't that what the sign says on the door? Is it really? Yeah, it says lounge buddy. Yeah. Read How the sign. Work up here. <laughs> Look at all the hard work eating rice chips. Watching YouTube. <laughs> hard at work. Hard at work. Now you guys have finished filming already. Mm -hmm. It is uh, like quarter after one. Quarter after one now. Well, yeah. Steve's got whatever Steve's got to do. I have to go do story times. Oh yes, because you guys did a campaign, so you got to go do all the recordings for the voiceover part. I don't want to hear Ah yes, as somebody might be wondering, what is this large stained piece of wood in the middle of the room? This is our airbrush booth, and it looks really nice. And it's got like a fan up in there. Oh, the lights are in there. You wouldn't think the fan would be. No, they are. What what is your plan? To, what are you doing with it? Well, I got to line the inside. So we don't airbrush, we don't paint all the wood. And uh, <coughs> I just got new fittings in for the airbrush. I got to set all the airbrush hoses up and hook everything up and put um, like airbrush holders and all that kind of stuff in there. So Get my, it all operational. My issue is, what's the, what does it matter if you paint the wood or not, right? Do you well, because, I don't know. It feels weird? 
It's just, it's, it's too nice. You don't want it. You just would. Look, it, it, it's so nice in here. What are, what are you gonna, is the plan just to like oh, line oh, it with? It's gonna be uh, foam core, white. Some of the lights go on, we have better lighting there. That's true, that'll help, because it is a little dark in there. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fill it with white. Perfect, that makes sense. And uh, that's Josh's desk behind Luca there. He, he also keeps his desk in the lounge. He does keep his desk in the lounge. It's almost well, I have like, a different understanding of what the word lounge means. I have to Google this. Well, while lounge. Steve Googles lounge, we've got Matthew's office with a plastic table because his desk has not come in yet. Ooh, that's not lounge. And Dave's office with his couch, new desk, and the shelf is going back up. So it is slowly getting there. Everything is, there's still a couple boxes laying around here and there. Obviously the broken down boxes. Box of random extension cables. Yep, yep. Oh, we got a water cooler. Hey, I forgot we got that. We threw the other one out, eh? You're so far away. Yeah. You're so far away. I know Steve's so far away. Everything in this building feels, it's long. It's a long building, right? So when we were downstairs recording, even though it may be the same distance to go grab a, like a two by four terrain board, or a mat or a piece of terrain from the back room would be the same distance as it would have been from the big storage area at the old building. It feels so much longer because you have to you visibly see how long you have to walk instead <laughs> of going through instead of going through like door to a the weird floor, convoluted yeah. Yep. Exactly. Well, as we talk about it, I'm gonna go show everyone what's out there. So this is first door. So this is where a guest would come in. We've got our little kind of entrance way here. And I'll kind of just pop down here for a second. So this is going to be Max Aggression Gaming. So Dan Beatty, a guest if you guys watch a lot of our videos, you'll definitely recognize that name. He's going to be running the store out front here. So that's going to be the store in there. I'll actually come down and show you guys it real quick. Boop. So he's got his games workshop shelves, paint rack. Uh, storage for him is going to be there. So this is the door here. Um, Things are gonna go here, I'm not sure. A big handicapped bathroom in there. Woo, bathroom. And uh, I will loop all the way back around and we will end here. So, that would be the entrance. And you're gonna come up these stairs. And look at that. It's his employee lounge. And then we've got two bathrooms here. A one of the uh, infamous bathroom that you might have seen on Facebook with our sweet toilet situation and our other sweet toilet situation. Awesome. And then we've got Aaron's shipping office. And where is she? She's not here. This is Aaron's shipping. So she got herself a brand new big monitor and she's going to do all of her stuff here. She's got all of her magnets set up. So she's kind of got a much nicer space and not having to deal with all the walk-through traffic. And we're gonna go through here all. And we're gonna go to more offices. So this is Mike's office. So he has a whole office with a bunch of shelves as he is always getting in, shipping and receiving new miniatures and whatnot for painting partner videos. So we've got like things like this these are all, uh, these ones might actually have had videos done, but maybe not, but pretty much like the things that are up on these shelves are either sponsored games that we're covering or miniatures that need to either go to their home or actually um, have a video made for the promotion for whoever painted it. And then we've got the Way of the Brush Studio, which I, by the name, I'm sure you can guess, that this is Chris's new office. A little smaller than his last, but I think it gets the point across. The last one he had, there was a lot of, there was a pretty much a whole back corner that he didn't use. So he's kind of got everything set up real nice. Ooh, that guy looks super awesome. He's got some metallic metal kind of red. Oh, that looks fantastic. And the swords are really nicely done. But of course, that is Chris. That is what I should expect. And the tournament hall, which is maybe where you would have seen uh, some of the other stuff that we've been posting online. And we've got our new tables in. So we've got five rows of tables. 
and they're doing a meeting, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go around the long way, because I didn't realize they were in the middle of the meeting, and I feel bad. So I'm just gonna pop through here. I guess we're going back this way. I'm just gonna cut right here. Sorry about that, we just had uh, yeah, the meeting and then interactions with people from the outside world who have come in who I didn't want to film because I don't know who they were and I feel bad filming somebody who wouldn't know that they were on camera. So, save them from YouTube. We're gonna go down here. So these are the stairs. This was the handicap bathroom I showed you right before. Boop. Stairs to the downstairs, which is where all these studios are. Filming studios are through that door. This is going to be the kitchenette, kitchen area. We need a fridge still. Uh, down here, so through there is what will eventually be our escape rooms, but um, that is still, Dave is saying like not till 2020, is that even to be expected? Because you can't really start and get into that until everything in here is done. Then we've just got another bathroom there. There's a bathroom in that corner there. So plenty of bathrooms, which is nice. We've got a fully loaded vending machine with the debit that works now. When it first came, the debit didn't work and everyone's like, oh no, that's dangerous. And now it's working. So it's gonna be a profitable machine. And into the warehouse we go. So here is the hallway. I'll kind of hide back in the, it's a Lee. It's gone. Ah! <laughs> so a big hallway, as you can see, it's a Lee for scale. That's what we're going with. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that space. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we've got most of our terrain and models stored here. So we've got, uh, we've got a couple of these plastic shelves and then all the metal ones there are all the nice metal U-line shelves that hold a buttload of stuff. But we're gonna pop into this uh, studio before we kind of do anything else just to show you guys this is the under hive themed after necromunda so it's got this kind of dirty dark rusty metal aesthetic and you know we've got ooh got some insignias from a couple different places with like a sewer drain there's our own logo we've got mini war games birthday right there We've got a ladder for climbing purposes, you know, pipes, all that cool stuff. This is, I, I really like the studio for just like the color that you, they, they were able to achieve. And this was Alvito who painted it and he did an amazing job. I love this studio. And even this little like comm panel is awesome. Just all the little things. And through we go. So now this is actually a exit to the alleyway. That's right up there. It's an alley. It's ours. Nothing much else to say. I wonder what this studio is. This one has my favorite feature of any studio that we have here. So obviously our new work studio, keeping in theme with our past one, but a little bit less chaotic, not as much stuff on the ground. That was one of the things that uh, Dave wanted to change since making the last ones was there was a lot of things on the ground and props in there that took up floor space. So as you can see, literally the only thing that is on the floor is the tables. So that keeps the floor clean and make sure there's no, you know, the, the big thing is we just don't want all the crap in the background for battle reports essentially. But this is my favorite. Ta-da! It's, it's so cool. It's the big red button. And look, it shows off our sound foam very nicely. So we're not completely done and soundproofing all of the studios, but Dave and I did throw up a good chunk of it up there. And uh, we've got some more coming in, in the order. But uh, Dave talked about that yesterday. And as you can see, the boxes and labels are getting added to all the shelves. They're not done yet but trying to organize things much better than they were because we had a issue of things going out and not always returning to the exact same places. But now, corn six, corn six, ha, gotta go there. So I think 
This one's done, this one's done. This one is where I stopped the other day. Yes. So, still oh, five more to go. It takes a while. But we're gonna come to this studio. This is the All Point Studio. Oh, hi there, Trevor. Hey. Oh, hi there, Vito. Smile. How are we? Very good. How are you? Oh, you know, just doing the open vault stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. So this is the All Point Studio. Yes. So we've got, that is, beasts? No, no. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Life? Heavens. Heaven? Wow, this is going to be... <laughs> You can do it. I'm trying. What are they? What? Little beasts. No. no what's what's Earth? On the life? No. No. Oh, yeah. Life. 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 Yeah. Oh no! I don't know. So oh. many skulls. What could it be? Oh, what could it be? It's. Could it, could it be metal? That's <laughs> the door, right? Oh, of course, yeah, right. that's what it is, right? It's just a black portal to nothing but exactly. metal. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Mini Wargaming is made of metal. You heard it here for first, folks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah. true, Trevor said it, it's real. <laughs> so we guys have a game of AOS happening, yeah. I see. Yeah. You Hedonites of Solanesh versus Caradron Overlord. Ooh. Ooh, so now this is one of your, for, or how many games have you played with this one? This is the second one. This is the second? Okay. Second game. How are you liking them? Oh, they're awesome. Big so, fan. A lot of uh, nuances. Uh, misspelling, no, not misspelling, missaying, mispronouncing. Uh, like instead of contorted epitome, it's uh, epitome. Hmm, yeah, that one, uh, Steve showed me that after, and I was like, I, I, I said it as epitome. Yeah, me too. Uh, but yeah, uh, we've got the new Keeper of Secrets model, fully painted. Um, gorgeous. By you yourself, correct? Yeah, Steve Look got the, um, what's it called? Beautiful. The new Fane of Slanesh model painted up. We've got the Contorted Epitome painted up over here as well. And the Enrapturous of Slanesh, those are painted up as well. Very, so a bunch of the new stuff very nice. And we're showcasing it. And we got this cool little narrative on the board as well. So look forward to that. Um, yeah, it, it's been a really fun battle report. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, some classic demons versus dwarves, I guess. Is that classic? Dwarks in this case, yeah. Right, right, they are dwarks. Yeah. If anyone hasn't seen Trevor's Caradron Overlord's army. Yeah, a lot of cool conversions in there as well. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I uh, I gotta put my uh, Daughters of Cain now on the back burner. I was this close to getting uh, 60 uh, witch elves done, mm -hmm. but now I have to get like 90 demonettes done and Wee. the rest of the army. Yay. But no, it's, it's a lot of fun. So you're gonna focus on them now though? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm gonna get my Daughters of Cain done, which are like, they're 98% done. Mm -hmm. And because I have Marathi left, and then the finishing, finishing touches on my Daughters of Cain. Are the witch elves, and then yeah, uh, the uh, Slanesh is going to be my next priority because I'm going to be using them for AOS 40k and then Demons of the Rune Storm. Ooh, as well. right. I was going to ask you, have you read any of the 40k stuff yet, or I, I perused it a little bit, mostly for AOS, mm -hmm. but they look really good for 40k as well. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, alrighty. Well, I'll let you guys get back to it. Have fun. See you later. See you later, homie. Homie, I'm out. <laughs> it's Lee again. Do you just live in this this hallway or something? Yeah, there's no space in my office anymore. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to Lee's office eventually. Did I just walk by his studio? I did. Let me just... I was distracted yeah. talking to Lee. And boom. We've got the Arcanaut studio. Kind of steampunky. Got that theme of being inside one of the sky ships from the Caradron Overlords. We actually have this one also in one of my big messes because uh, I apparently just leave messes around as I'm learning. <laughs> and so there is going to be where the live streaming computer will be, at least for now. And uh, so after this video, once I get it all edited, this is my project is getting this all up and running as uh, yeah, it's, this, this has been the project I've been dreading, is just getting all this ready. But it shouldn't be too bad, honestly. It's, I got the table in. That's half the battle, to be honest. 
<laughs> but then we gotta figure out, um, because we do have, it's, I, I don't know how well they show up, but there's, oh no. That just showed off how nasty the um, camera lens was. Gross. But there's tracks up there, and I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, be able to get, because the tracks are made for those lights. So trying to figure out a way that we can uh, find whether it's that track. Yeah, I, I gotta figure out a way to hang the camera from the ceiling is what I'm trying to say here. There's a track up there, because what I had before was this bad boy, which is a simple device used for hanging projectors actually, but ends with your standard tripod ball head there, and then has this kind of scissor grip here. So it actually grabbed just around the drop ceiling. So that was super convenient for the setup we had in our last building. But uh, we're gonna have to come up with something new for here. So yeah, I just gotta put all this away. Gotta get it all, so many HDMI cables. Ah. And there's the capture cards and whatnot, the mixer. So all that needs to get ready for when the live streaming gets going, which pff, might be tomorrow. Depends if I am ready, to be honest. That's the big question. But the one question that everyone is not asking is what studio is this? Because this is obvious. The Chaos Studio. So I'm just gonna do a full loop. Obviously, not done yet. Not done yet. Um, this was one that I think they worked on last. So with time constraints, they really just had to get the wall panels constructed and get ready to go up. And then the after details can come later. More terrain. Our bookshelf is actually right there. So we used to have two. We used to have one for AOS and 40K. We just amalgamated them all now, so makes it easier. And last couple shelves of terrain and into the last studio where Matthew is. Hello, hello. Well, hello, hello. How are we in here? We're doing well. We're just preparing to film another battery report. Another? Well, we got one done this morning. Oh, okay. Uh, Being efficient today. Well, the first one, just we kind of did a bit of more of an interesting one area where it was like all monsters versus all vehicles. So that one, okay. was, I'm not going to spoil how it ended, but it went fast. As you'd expect a low model count game to go. But now we're doing, so this, this right here will be the first official beat map bat rep that goes on YouTube. Okay. I had, we had a, I had an extra dangling um, video from the old place and I needed to make the, because we do everything in pairings if you're not familiar. We put it for every free video, free battle report, there's one in the vault as well. And, and I had done a free one at the old studios and so we did the vault one. So we already did that one. So this game will be free on YouTube. It's going to be Primary Space Marines versus Tau. Using those three new guys, right? Yeah, I got, what are they called again? They're called Suppressors. A suppressor Squad. They basically hold an auto cannon. Yeah, these models look hilarious. Yeah, but they actually those they have the same stats as an auto cannon. Okay, heavy, heavy cool. Two, strength seven, minus two, two damage. But Not bad. Very interesting thing. Uh, one very thing, interesting thing about them is that they if they kill something in a unit, that unit cannot award. Yeah, it shuts down, shuts down Overwatch. Well, uh, which against Tau? I'm, I'm like, I, I literally looking at that going. But the, but the thing is, it's like I don't want to be shooting at the, the little guys with the, with auto cannons. I guess there's I that, right? The battle suits or the, the any vehicles like strength seven two damage is wasted on Tau <laughs> infantry. So like, yeah, so these guys supposed to be shooting at auto cannons that shut down Overwatch. It's like. But don't auto cannons usually fire at light vehicles or medium vehicles? Yeah, that does seem kind of weird. Yeah, but I had to bring them, not because of the. Honestly, I read that after I decided to bring them, but because they're new models and we haven't mm -hmm. we haven't used them in a battle report as far as I know yet. And so, gotta try them out, right? <clears throat> oh yeah. So I I have those new Primaris snipers, but I think the box they came they box they came in only came with three, and now you bring them in units of five. Really? So, yeah. And so the why do they oh, keep doing that? I don't know. <laughs> try to be crazy. I'm like, if you're gonna have them come in fives, sell them in fives. Just make everyone's life easier. Oh, that's so annoying. Because there's because the I wanted to play with them. I was like, cool, we got primary snipers and and uh, nope. I know I can bring an underman squad for the same points cause. But why would you ever do that? <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> that seems like, hey, let me just shoot off my own foot. Why don't I? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> so did you show them the new? Oh yeah. Dampening. Yep. Makes a. Heck of a difference. Quite. 
yeah, I don't know if uh, if any of you guys watched any of the one of the early videos of showing off when we were moving in. I'm sure well, you heard. Well, uh, we we filmed like Luke and I filmed a couple battle reports. So oh, okay. Sigmar. So still will be a those, couple. Those have not yet gone out. I think they're going to go out tomorrow. It's my guess. I'm just guessing. So tomorrow <laughs> being Thursday. Mm -hmm. So today for you guys. Is this, is this coming up tomorrow? Yeah, this will be Thursday. So the same day as today. So those were done. And we say at the beginning of the video that we're still working on the sound dampening because with the ceilings being flat and the rooms having a lot less in them, yeah. there's a lot more echo. Mm -hmm. uh, we just bought this foam and and that's not even done yet. We've got more coming in to really cover it, to really get, because you can still hear a little bit. Like when you go, ha, you can still hear that reverb. Yeah, a little bit of a ring to it still. So. Yes, and, and I, we don't want that at all. In our studios and so I think of once we cover the last of it it's not gonna get rid of all of it no but it'll definitely be much better than yeah, what it like was if you want a real sound dampening studio you got to have your walls covered in it yeah you pretty much have to forego all of the awesome cool yeah, prettiness you have anything that looks cool right so. and it does look cool yeah or or the alternative that what I was thinking if these didn't work is just we'd have to spend a bunch of money and time on making more props and just have the walls covered in props. Oh, okay. Because that would achieve the same relative thing. Yeah, give, give the idea of having shelves where they can get trapped in. Yeah, and... like a, yeah, it's sort of be like a gun hanging here and just more stuff. Because look at this, that's a huge flat area, right? Oh, yeah. So that's a lot of sound bouncing right there. Whereas if you all of a sudden you put a gun here, then a lot of that gets trapped in there. So. Mm hmm. But anyway, yeah. Oh, this is Bo. Hi. From Denmark. Came all the way from Denmark. He is our first guest. Now, I don't know if by the time you watch this video, you have seen a battle report with him in it. I don't think any of the games that you've played are up yet. Not yet. So, he is our first ever guest. He will forever and henceforth to eternity hold the honor and uh, title of first guest in the new bunker. Fantastic. It yes. is an honor. Yes. And I can strongly recommend, even though they're not completely finished everywhere. Yeah, you're not even seeing the rooms upstairs no, no. And, the, and the gaming I, hall isn't ready yet. Yeah. But I can say, for now, this is my third day here and it has been a blast. I love it here and I hope to come back one day and try the bunker or something. Yeah, yeah. And once we have all the events running. Right now he's just playing battle reports, just regular battle reports. Yeah. But when we're doing our events, it'll be even more fun because mm -hmm. we have even more of a mm -hmm. purpose. So yeah, that's that's his honor. We do have other people here today filming, but he was the first. And you get that. Yeah, forever. Okay. Nobody ever, nobody else can ever be first. We so should have got him a shirt. Open, uh, marker for for Denmark to sit in there for the being the first. Yeah, on I the guess. Big world map. Yeah, once we ever, whenever we actually get around to doing that. Yeah. Yeah, we want to put a big world map to show all the different guests where they're from yeah. mm -hmm. as they come, but. Because everybody comes from all over the place. It would be cool to see that. It would be very, very neat. And not just a digital one. I know we could do a digital one, but I want to, like, you walk by it and get a cool, and you get to put, put your pin in it. Mm -hmm. Unless you're from one of the places where you're walking uh, about 100 people, and it's like, yeah, that's... Can you, can you fit another pinhole in this cluster, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, apparently I'm, I'm from a very small country. Denmark isn't that big, so... But I don't think that's that many people traveling 8,000 kilometers to get here. No, I don't think you have the record for distance, though. No, I know, I know. I think yeah. you have one that was... We've had people from Australia. Yeah. And that's farther. Yeah. I don't know, what, what is the exact opposite of the globe to well in Ontario? Like, nope, is it right. somewhere in Asia? It would so, definitely be in Asia, but... I think it's somewhere It would have to be south time. of the equator. Um, it's not Australia. Australia is a little too much further. I think you might actually hit ocean. Just in the middle of water. Yeah. I'd be curious if somebody could uh, let us know. Figure that out. I know I can just go upstairs and do it myself, but I'm busy making the battle report. Come on. But then by the time I you're, finish, you're on the internet right now. You can just switch over to Google. It's open right? tab while you're watching. By the time I finish this whole video and go talk to Lee, I'll totally have been. I've yeah, forgotten, but yeah. Forget. Yeah. So if you post in the comments what you if you can find the exact spot, and then what if it is in the middle of the ocean? What would be the nearest land mass? Land mass <laughs> that would be able to claim, if I came from there to Mini Wargaming, then nobody could beat me. That it is physically, it could be no farther unless you came from space. Yes, yeah, so unless you came from <laughs> space. So. But there's also like longest trip too, like. Uh, like if you take a ridiculous. Trip. Yeah, it's like if you're like doing a round the world thing and you stop off here, then I guess that would be yeah. similar too, but. Anyway. All right, I will leave you guys to it. You Thank guys you. have fun. So I'm going to back away dramatically. Ooh. And uh, let's see, we've got, I'll show you just in here. 
ammo dump, which is just more storage. Boom, mats. Boom, more terrain. And what you'll notice about this shelf is open spots for expansion, which is fantastic. Because once we, once we actually set up all the shelves, it was like, oh no, did we fill them all already? But actually, we have room to grow, which is fantastic. And I'll just pop back here real quick, where we've got our big uh, six by two boards here. Six by two? Four by, four by two. Four by two is what they are. And all on that shelf, we've got content producer miniatures here. So we've got Steve's stuff and Vito's stuff and Luca's stuff and just some old stuff that doesn't really get used. We've got some Nurgle Nids. We've got some Gorka Morka vehicles. We've got War Machine and X-Wing and there's some old Tomb Kings on squares, like just a bunch of stuff that uh, isn't used too terribly often. So that all just gets tucked away with more of the MDF terrain here, which is uh, a lot of this was gotten when we did, this is not a test for the realistic post-apocalyptic terrain. So that's that stuff. And we got some like old affinity terrain in here, that kind of stuff. And then this for anybody who recognizes it is our very old war machine board we had made before I ever started. So that was some time ago. New dowel rods, just, oh, it's so many actually. Jeez. So uh, those guys don't have to live on the floor. And then we're gonna go check out Lee's new office. So we're gonna go through here. Again, this is where you guys might be a little bit confused because the layout is, uh, it, it, there's a lot of hallways, I will admit. We've got our gym which is storage right now because uh, we don't have any place to put this stuff. For now, hopefully like we'll be able to pull all this out and eventually it will find its home. But for now, uh, like, I mean, we're, we're still keeping some of the air conditioners around just in case um, come summer, if something else is needed. So we're just keeping them around just to make sure that all of our stuff is all good and things like that. And here is Lee's office. Let's see if he's in. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, look at this. Look at this. There's a floor in here. Yeah, the last time I saw it, I could almost not see the floor. Wow, look at this. Lee's new office, wow. The height is, is wonderful for you. That is one of the things that your old office definitely did not have. No. So, I mean, it looks kind of the same in a different layout. Yeah. You've got the airbrush booth back there. We've got your desk here more workspace and then just shelves. a buttload of shelves and storage for all the different things yes. and uh yeah, your actual shelves for my minis yay actual display shelves not like display window holes in the wall <laughs> oh, at least 30k and some specially converted stuff yeah my center console busted up Got smashed in the move like all the wings are broken. He's all sad. Look at that back wing. That's a sad back wing. <laughs> sad wing. I'll fix them up. I never use them anyway, so. But still. Alright, well, how, how has your uh, moving experience been it's overall? It's been good. It took a long time for us to pack. It took me a week. Mm hmm. We got like two days to do it. I don't know. Yeah, everyone was given the Monday, Tuesday, and the yeah. moving was supposed to start the Wednesday, and Lee's like... I'm going to start on the Wednesday. Yeah, it, it, it's Wednesday, the week before. <laughs> uh, yeah, because as soon as we started, we just went. Yeah. It, it's been quite a couple the, of weeks. The roller coaster. Yeah, it's uh, almost, feels, it done. almost feels weird to be making another video, but it feels good. Yeah. It's good to be back. What I will say is there won't be a open vault vault portion today because I got to finish setting up that computer. Yeah. I got things to do and uh, things to get to, but that should be back next week when everything is a little bit more in order. Right, Lee? Yes. Quite. Right? I say that with a... I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> He's just, <laughs> yes, smile. Yes, I had cameras on. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to turn this back around and uh, say goodbye, guys. There's way more windows in this building, so the... I have a window. I know, like, there's a window there, 
But just in comparison to the old building where I feel like the windows were so not relevant. Yeah. That the lighting of this video is like, wow, it's... The funny thing is I'm going to have to cover that window up though. Mm-hmm. Because half of it's going to be the ventilation for my spray booth. Yep. And we noticed this morning, because the sun was shining... That it literally... Uh, like, it's just, like, right here. Yeah, it's, uh, like, it, it could not be worse. <laughs> oh. I guess the worse would be it directly in your eye, specifically. Yeah. But, yeah. but, yeah. So I'm going to block out the sun again. I block out the sun with my arrows. Because this is 300. This movie fight in the shade. Yep. <laughs> so that's been it. That's me where we're right now, in the bunker. Week three? Yes. Week three? It's my third week. I have actually started driving the correct way to work in the morning, which is nice. It's like two roads different, but hey, sometimes you just get muscle memory and you go the wrong way. Or to the old place. Oh yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we will see you later next week. Happy working. Bye-bye.